Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 66 in the series. If you do enjoy today's content, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell as well if you can. And in today's episode, it's a huge game. It's the first round of the FA Cup. Very excited about it. Hopefully we can progress to the next round. We are up against Bolton. They are in our league, so hopefully we can get a result here. It is going to be a tough game. But we have played the game since the last episode you saw, so let's go and see what happened. So you also saw the Barnet game where we won 5-0. If you haven't, it's in the top right of your screen right now. But the game after that was against Southend. We did win 2-1. We absolutely dominated the game, but we were actually losing for most of it. Parker did score a goal for them in the 33rd minute. It was a weak inside because we do have the FA Cup game coming, but we should have won easily anyway. We did get two goals through OT in the 79th and 83rd minute though to seal the game. Though we got the three points, so I'm very happy with that. But let's see what it does to the league table. So looking at the league table, we've played 16, we've won 15, we've drawn 1, we've got 46 points and we've got a 32 goal difference. We now have a massive 11 point lead over Rochdale in second place, plus we still have a game in hand so we can hopefully make that 14 points. But that is all about the FA Cup today, so let's go and have a look and see what team we're going to be using today. So we have a pretty strong squad for today. In goals, we've got Hammond, at right back we've got Horsfield, at centre back is Norty and Kelleher, at left back is Vassell. In centre midfield, it's Collins and Aziz, at right wing is Kang, left wing is Davies, and attacking mid centrals McGee, and up front we've got Balogun. We have a strong bench as well, so if we do need to bring any players on, we've got plenty there. But I'm hoping we can progress to the second round, get some revenue, and get a good side in the next tie. So let's get into it. And this is lineups, so let's get in the dressing room. Let's go with the media, I've been giving you a lot of credit lately, so go out and put a worthy display, and let's get kicked off. A little bit of encouragement, but I'm hoping we can progress here. It is the first round. Which is a bit disappointing that we're coming up against a team that are in our league as well. But we should hopefully beat Bolton. We have beaten them before. But hopefully we can get a goal before half time. We do have about 20 minutes left to go till half time. But I have played the strongest squad as possible. We do have another game in two days, which is the Papa John's Trophy. I do want to beat Barrow. We should hopefully win anyway. But as long as we don't lose 6 0 or lose by 7 or more, basically, because I think we've got a goal difference of 6 and Barrow have the three points less than us so if even if they beat us they'll um they need to do it by seven for us to not, not progress through but we just had the chance there Balogun just put it wide which is disappointing but hopefully we'll get another chance before half time alexander's on the ball now plays it forward is groves on the ball moves forward into the box he's got a chance here and it's a good save there gonna be a corner for bolton got politic on the ball Plays it in, and it's cleared. Asarsson's going to pick up now. Plays it into the middle, Taft to Delaney, and it comes to nothing. Five minutes left to go, I'm hoping we can get a good chance here. But that is halftime, it is 0-0 so far. We have had three chances, two on target, and we've had 58% possession. So we are dominating the play. Hopefully we can get some more chances in the second half, but let's get in the dressing room right now. And let's go with, we've been the better team here. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine. We'll give them another little bit of encouragement and let's get going again. But yeah, we have the Barrow game next. We will do that as an episode because it should be an exciting one. Hopefully we can progress, get top of the uh, the group as well so we can get a good side in the next round. But we'll probably make some substitutions now because I want to make sure I can rest some players and make sure we've got them fresh for the next game if possible. So we'll bring McGee off for Berjonis. Um... We'll also bring off Can for Watmore. And let's do that at the minute. So what we might do is we might put OT up front and then we'll put Drogba on the left, possibly. We've got about 15 minutes left to go. Horsefield's on the ball. Hopefully we can get a goal here. Watmore to Collins. Play it in. And it's a great goal by OT. He's absolutely smashing them in right now. Scored two in his last game. Just got one there as well. Fantastic header. And it's, it's a bit disappointing because Davies has been scoring a lot of goals lately as well. They both play in the p same position. Ote can be up front as well, but Balogun has been smashing in the goals as well. So it is a little bit difficult for him, but I am trying to actually train him to be an attacking central mid. So hopefully if we can get him to do that, um, he can actually play in there as well. So he's more versatile. What we'll do is we will take Balogun's tired now. So we'll take Balogun off for Ote and we'll put Drogba on for a little bit. Oh no, I can't. We've already used all our subs. Okay, we'll just have to see the game out now. But we've got five minutes left to go. Hopefully we can hold on here. Let's move to very defensive. We'll do a little bit of time wasting. And hopefully just see this game out. Four minutes to go and we'll be through to the next round. And that is the end of the game. Fantastic result. We've progressed to round two. It was only 1-0, but still I don't mind because we got the win. 
We had 11 shots, 6 on target with 60% possession. Absolutely dominated the play. We had 90% pass completion as well, which is fantastic. But let's get in the dressing room and proud of the performance. Very happy there. And that's just beating Bolton 1-0. That is just due to the second round of the FA Cup, which is very, very good. Hopefully we get a good side. Potentially if we can get a lower league side as well, so we can progress into the third round and get even more money from revenue. Especially prize money and if we can get a Premier League side in the third round that would be fantastic as well because that would really really boost the funds. But from winning the first round alone we got 36,000 so if we can get to the third round that would be even more money in the coffers. But that's going to be the end of the episode. I think what we're going to do is the next episode we are going to play against Barrow. We are actually playing them twice in a row. We're playing them in the Papa John's then we're going to be playing them in the league but we will do the Papa John's one because I do want to progress there. It is a cup competition as well. Hopefully we can top the group as well so we'll do that one. But in the next episode we'll also find out who we're playing in the second round of the FA Cup. But thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time.